as you can see the temperature is 30.9 and the fan speed is 100 percent now the temperature is 24.9 and the fan speed is 60 percent and now the temperature is 19.9 and the fan is off Hi guys, it's me Raghav Sharma from TechPoint, welcoming you all to my channel. In this video, I will be making an energy efficient fan. The speed of this fan will be varied by the temperatures. The main component of this project is Arduino Uno R3, which is a microcontroller and an easy to use electronic platform. We will be doing this project on a simulator. After successful simulation, one can buy the real components of the project from online portals like Amazon and Flipkart and assemble them in real time to get a real innovative product at your home. So let's go to our PC and start the simulation. Guys, now let's head towards the simulator of Arduino. In this tutorial, we'll be using circuits.io from Autodesk. As you can see, this is the website of the simulator. Now we'll be signing in over here. If you are having a sign in, then you can just click sign up for free. I'll be signing in with my Facebook account. Guys, now I am pausing my video till I sign into my Facebook account. Guys, I have signed into my Facebook account and after then we'll be clicking create on the top bar. After clicking create, we'll uh, go to open electronics hub and then new electronics lab button. Firstly, we'll be collecting the components which will be used to make the temperature sensing fan. So, firstly the Arduino Uno R3 which is our main controller or you can say microcontroller as you can see I have kept it on my stage now after getting the Arduino Uno R3 we will be searching for a LCD display LCD 16 multiplied by 2 so 16 multiplied by 2 means it has 16 columns and 2 rows now let's place it on our breadboard so you must be thinking that when I have took the breadboard so I didn't took that it's actually a default item which is placed on the stage when we open the simulator that circuit.io now let's get the DC motor fan There is the DC motor fan so now let's take it on our stage and position it a little bit. After adjusting the fan's location we will be getting a temperature sensor which is an LM35. Selection of the components are completed. Let's go for our second step which is wiring. Firstly, in the wiring step, we'll be giving a negative supply to the breadboard from the GND section of Arduino. So, we'll be giving the supply to the first line of the breadboard. So after wiring this, the first line will be fully electrified. Let's electrify the second line of the breadboard with the 5 volt positive current from Arduino. We can also change the color of these wires as per our needs like black for the negative one and red for the positive one. Now let's connect the LCD to the Arduino microcontroller. For this we will be firstly connecting the GND section of the LCD display to the negative supply which we have given to the breadboard. So as you can see this line of the breadboard is fully electrified vertically. So now let's give the positive supply to the VCC section of the LCD in the same way. The view section of the LCD is used for the setting of the contrast. So we'll be just simply connecting it with the GND section of the Arduino board. After connecting the VO port to the negative supply, we will be connecting the RW port with the negative supply in the same way. Now let's connect the LED cathode and anode pins with the positive and negative line from the Arduino board respectively. We will be needing a resistor for the positive terminal as you can see I have used it. So 
so there you go guys the power supply and the contrast setting lines are successfully connected on your LCD display so now let's connect the main line which will be transferring your text to the LCD so now let's take some random ports and in the further video we'll be declaring these ports in the code editor firstly let's connect the D5 port from the Arduino microcontroller to the D4 port of the LCD panel We can also color the wires as per our needs just for the sake to differentiate between them. So now let's connect the D4 port from the Arduino circuit board to the D5 port of the LCD panel. After it let's connect the D3 port from the microcontroller to the LCD panel's T6 port. And let's color it blue. Now connect the D2 port from the microcontroller to the D7 port of the LCD panel. Now only two connections of the LCD panel are left so we'll be doing it afterwards. Firstly we'll be connecting the fan with the Arduino board which we'll be controlling. Let's give it a power supply which is a positive one from the D9 port of the Arduino circuit board and the cathode from the breadboard. Now let's arrange those wires. As you can see guys the wire is properly arranged so now let's connect the D11 port from the Arduino microcontroller to the E port of the LCD panel. After connecting it we will be connecting the D12 port from the microcontroller to the RS port of the LCD panel. Now guys our LCD panels and fans connections are completed so now let's connect the LM35 temperature sensor to the Arduino circuit board. So we'll be connecting the VS port from the temperature sensor to the positive terminal of the breadboard and the GND port of the LM35 to the negative section of the breadboard. After connecting the same we'll be connecting the VOUT port of the LM35 with the A1 input section of the Arduino circuit board. With this. Our wiring is completed. The final wiring diagram goes like this. So guys now our circuit is completed so let's write a code. So for that we'll be going to code editor and erase the default code and we'll enter our new code. So firstly we'll declare the library files. So our library files is liquidcrystal.h after it we'll be declaring the LCD ports which we have used on the Arduino circuit board which is 12 11 5 4 3 2 having it done we'll declare a variable temp in float then uh, a temperature pin A1 then define fan 9 then in void setup we'll be giving fan output and we'll be setting the LCD to 16 rows and 3 columns now we'll be setting the cursor to 3 and 1 then LCD print tech point and then 1 second delay then LCD clear then again set cursor to 1 0 then we'll be printing Raghav Sharma delay again 1 second then LCD clear and then it will print let's get started again 2 seconds delay and then it will print auto temperature and delay 2000 delay seconds so now let's head towards the void loop section. In that we'll be writing LCD set cursor 30, LCD print recording. Then we'll uh, set the cursor to 21 and LCD print temperature. Then a delay of 3 seconds and then LCD clear. 
then we'll uh, set the cursor of the LCD to 0 2 then we'll be reading the temperature that temperature is equal to analog read temperature pin then we'll be converting the temperature by multiplying it with 0 0.4882825 then we'll setting the cursor to 0 0 then we'll be printing temperature is equals to set cursor 5 1 then LCD print temperature a delay of 3 seconds and then LCD clear now we'll be adding the if statements which is the main if temperature is less than 20 then analog write 90 the speed of the fan will be 0 then print LCD fan off delay 2 seconds then LCD clear else if temperature is less than equal to 22 then analog write fan frequency 51 which will increase its speed LCD print fan speed 20% delay 2 seconds LCD clear else if temperature is less than or equal to 24 analog write fan 102 frequency LCD print fan speed is equals to 40% delay 2 seconds LCD clear else if temperature is less than or equal to 26 analog write fan 153 frequency LCD print fan speed 60% delay 2 seconds LCD clear else if temperature is smaller than or equal to 28 analog write fan frequency 200 LCD print fan speed 80% delay 2 seconds LCD clear Else if the temperature is greater than or equal to 30, analog write fan frequency 255, LCD print fan speed is equals to 100, delay 2 seconds, LCD clear. Now our Kojan circuits are completed, so let's test our project. As you can see the simulation is started. Recording temperature. So the temperature is 24.9 and the fan speed is 60% and as you can see the RPM of the fan is around 1800. Now let's decrease the temperature of the simulator by 4 degrees by just minusing 4 from the converting temperature line and now let's see the result. So the temperature is 20.9 The fan speed is 20% and as you can see the RPM of the fan is around 600 So now let's decrease the temperature of the simulator by one more degree So guys the temperature is 19.9 degrees celsius as you can see the fan is off and the rpm of the fan is zero now let's do our last test and just will be keeping the temperature of the simulator above 30 degree so let's see if the fan goes on 100 percent speed or not so as you can see the fan speed is 100 percent and the rpm of the fan is around 3000 Thanks for watching my video. I hope it helped you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed watching it.